hello guys hi and welcome to my channel my name is Andine and I would like to share with you my tips on how to prepare stockfish for cooking I will later share with you some of my recipes for stockfish but today I will just give you tips on how to make it easy and if you have a freezer at home you can make a lot of fish freeze them and use them later but guys there's one thing when you're in your market in Africa look at the stockfish there are some stockfish there that are not real when you're in the market ask them is that a Norwegian stockfish if they say yes then you can buy because this is the real stock the real quality the good one the best quality is coming from Lufoten in Norge. so guys that is a good tip stay tuned and I will show you how I prepare my stockfish for cooking. Now this is our fish, our beautiful Norwegian caught fish. Um, here in Norway, when buying this fish from the shop, you will buy them like this. They are very hard. It's like wood. It's now going to be your job to try to cut them into pieces. So, as you see here, I've cut them into chunks. I've done this myself. It's not difficult. You just need to take a saw and saw them to chunks or into your own desired sizes. After cutting your fish, you get a pot, fill it with water, soak the fish into the water and let it stay overnight. Please remember to ventilate when cooking stockfish. Open all your doors and windows. We all know that a lot of people do not like the smell of this fish. But with my experience, the smell will disappear after one or two hours if you remember to ventilate while cooking. Um, this is my fish. Finish cooked. The only spices I have in this fish now is black pepper and salt. If you have soaked this fish in water overnight, if you cook it for more than 30 minutes, you will overcook it. So here you can see, this is my finished cooked stockfish out of the water. And um, as for me, because in this house, the kids do not like to eat uh, the skin of the fish so i will go ahead and peel off the skin of the fish so now i'm going to show you guys how um, i clean this fish after cooking it is um, kind of very easy to clean so you go ahead and uh, just peel off the skin it's easy just below the skin now our fish is clean i will go and get some freezer bags portion the fish into the freezer bags and put them in the freezer this might look like a lot of work but it is not because i only do this maybe three to four times every year and for me i think it's very time saving so this is our fish it's clean i have removed the skin and the bones and i have packed them in plastic bags like this like this so what i'm going to do is to take these bags put them in the freezer and whenever i want to cook i will just pick up one bag and cook my food so it's very 
much time saving if you prepare like this before cooking your stockfish and usually what i will cook here at home is stew okra i have to travel like several miles to buy okra and um, eru only if somebody have been in cameroon or i've been in cameroon i also cook bacalao i also roast fish this stockfish yes guys you can roast stockfish in Lufoten, they make roast stockfish. I was once on a business trip in Lufoten and I ate some roasted stockfish. Oh my, it was delicious and I'm hooked. So I still make roast stockfish. And um, that is what I'm going to like to do to share with you guys some of my recipe on stockfish. So I will also like you guys to comment, comment below. What you would like me to make with the stockfish so uh, but remember guys i'm in norway so there's some kind of limitation on what i can make we do not have all of the spices you have back home in cameroon or in nigeria please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed watching me talking about stockfish and have a blessed day see you in the next vlog bye bye bye